warm dia guys I'm just leaving Casa Fuevo the mountain hut up here at the peak of Fuevo look at that golden glow behind us with the sea of clouds I'm heading up to the peak of Fuevo summit for sunrise which is going to be the starting point of today's journey which will be the Pico to Pico hike today I'm going to show you what it looks like to hike from Pico Cuevo to Pico de Arriero in full snow so stick around for this adventure first we're going to check out sunrise at Pico Cuevo and then we'll head over to Pico de Arriero and see what it looks like with a snowy track <laughs> with another beautiful time up at Pico Huivo summit last night we had a great sunset above the clouds and this morning beautiful sunrise above the clouds quite still up here there's almost no wind and the snow is still very thick it's quite icy in the morning so we have to watch our step we're gonna head down now to the Pico Huivo mountain house and have breakfast before heading over to Pico de Arriero on the Pico to Pico hike After an omelette sandwich at the mountain hut, we now have commenced the journey from Casa Juevo to Pico Dariero. It's a very snowy trail, a bit of ice, but so far we are following someone's footsteps and uh, it's looking very beautiful and very calm.
Well, as you can see on the sign behind me, we've made it 2.4 kilometers from Pico Juevo and we are 3.7 kilometers away from Pico de Arriero. But we reached a section that uh, got a little bit dicey. We didn't really like it, so we did made the team decision to turn back um, because the ice in that section was a little bit much for us. We've been fine digging in and uh, making our way safely for the first two and a half kilometers, but we didn't want to take a risk there. So we've uh, had a great journey through here in the snow uh, from Pico Juivo to almost halfway uh, to Pico de Arriero, but we've decided it's time to turn back. It's also 2 p.m. Um, it's taken a long time to get this far because of the work we've had to do uh, digging in on the trail But we've decided uh, we're gonna head back So stick around though because I'm gonna show you the drone clip of the path that we decided to bail on um, I took a few clips there just to see exactly what it was looking like and then once we saw that we definitely decided to turn back But you're also gonna get to see this beautiful trail in the snow from here on in uh, so I hope you're enjoying this unique look at uh, one of the top trails on Madeira, fully covered in snow, apparently a little bit too much snow. So head back to Pico Juivo, that's the plan, and we should be back there by late afternoon. Hope you're enjoying. from Pico Juivo to Pico Dariero. We've almost done nine kilometers on this snowy trail and it's been very slow going and a lot of effort to dig our way through. So pretty tired now. It's been, I think 700 meters of vertical gain so far. And uh, we're almost back at Casa Juivo where we stayed the night last night. And then we'll have to gather our stuff and head off to Machado do Teixeira. But yeah, this trail is definitely not advised in the snow under any conditions. Um, obviously, if you're adept to the snow, there's a lot of trail runners up and around these areas and other hikers. But it's for sure you need to have some experience in the snow and definitely not advised after a big snowfall. As we found out today, we got stopped at the halfway mark. But final push now to Casa Juivo. Time to leave Casa Juevo and we are now heading down the hill, the short hike, 2.5 kilometers to Ashara do Teixeira where we parked our car what seems like a week ago but was just yesterday. Just about back at Ashara do Teixeira after the two and a half kilometer hike. That'll be just about it for this adventure. It's been honestly a crazy mission up here and it was great to experience staying at Casa Juevo. I don't think too many people know that you can stay up there overnight for just 15 euros and it means that you're on the doorstep of Pico Juevo and a perfect base to have, to have uh, sunset and sunrise 
on the tallest peak of Madeira without having to do any hiking in the dark or any big missions. So it's a great base to explore and you can do pico to pico, you can do a hike then Cumiada. It's really nice to have some wine, have some friends up there. Great experience. So if you did like this adventure, you can hit the like button. If you want to follow more, you can subscribe. I would appreciate that. I'm really putting in a lot of effort this year to make some adventure videos from all of the hikes and crazy stuff I try and get up to around the world. So hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one.